Good evening, I'm Mark Boyle. Thanks for being with us here. First at 6 o'clock, a live look at the growing memorial in the Henningham neighborhood entrance tonight. This is for the victims of Thursday's mass shooting. As the shooting was happening, first responders rushed to save victims. Officers scrambled to capture the suspected shooter and Raleigh's mayor, Marianne Baldwin, along with other leaders, followed every single turn. Today, WRAL's Adam Owens spoke one-on-one -on -one with Marianne Baldwin about what it was like in those tense moments. That has been my worst fear since I took office. Thursday evening, that fear was realized. Marianne Baldwin was the mayor of a city rocked by a mass shooting. RPD has confirmed five fatalities. Hours before this news conference, Baldwin got the first call. An off-duty Raleigh police officer was shot. Then there were more calls with reports of more victims. This is far worse than we thought. In a conference room downtown, Baldwin and other city leaders gathered. Radios were blaring. The reality and the graveness of it started setting in. Later that night, there was some relief when an arrest was made. The 15-year-old suspect was in critical condition, and new questions started to surface. We don't know the why. And my, my other fear is we may never know the why. The mayor cannot share many details of the mass shooting right now, but she has been sharing in the grief. She talked with the widow of Gabriel Torres, the Raleigh police officer shot and killed. I think that was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Um, you know, she is heartbroken and in tears. Adam Owens, WRAL News. And after meeting with the mayor, Marion Baldwin talked with the leaders about other residents and how they might all heal in the coming days. Baldwin is also calling for more gun safety measures to keep weapons away from dangerous people and bolstering education on how guns should be safely locked away.